My name is Robert Guerrero and this is my wife Rosie and we are from Pomona campus and this is our testimony. I grew up in Pomona, California, uh, born and raised in Pomona, California my whole life. I come from a home of, of six of us and uh, growing up was pretty, pretty, pretty good childhood, you know, about 14, uh, 17. I started experimenting with drugs and and became a young adolescent that just, you know, got into trouble, hang around with the, the wrong crowd and and started going that route. And that lasted to about 17. That's when I had my daughter and my daughter changed my life. I knew from there that I had to work to be a working man and provide. Next thing you know, that's when my addiction came back and I backslid into the addiction of meth. And that's how I, I, I first met her. I, I met her because uh, I was gonna sell a phone to her to get some drugs. I knew that I didn't want this lifestyle no more that I already had been living for years. And she already expressed she didn't want the lifestyle like of selling drugs, even though she was clean already. When God started changing our life, it's like he brought us down to to a point where, you know, like we didn't have nothing, like we didn't have no money, we didn't have anything, you know, if we wanted to, to change our life, we had to get rid of that lifestyle. Yeah. And that was money, that was drugs, right? I came across an email from The Way saying that there was an expungement. So from doing the expungement, I came here to Hallmark and they had service. So I came home and I told my husband, hey, I really like the service. I think we should go and start going to church at the way. They were doing altar call, and that's when I met um, Pastor Maribel. And then from there, you know, I cried my eyes out, and then Maribel was the one that prayed for, for me. And ever since then, I've been with Maribel and her DG group, and um, she's always been there for me since day one. My first time having service there in Pomona, I was blown away, you know, the altar call came, yeah. and, uh, I remember Pastor Chris, he was like, you know, if you feel like you got cinder blocks on your feet and, you, and, you're, and your heart's beating out of your chest, you know what I mean? That's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. And, uh, and, and I felt exactly what I felt. And when I went up to the altar, man, it just, it's just a, a feeling of just like love. And from that point, that it's been a year, over a year now, since we've been going to the way, and and God's been doing a lot of things in our life. I've seen restoration in my wife's life with their kids, you know, just things that we've prayed for, we seem to come to pass. So I no longer have a love for money anymore. I no longer have a love for that lifestyle anymore. I have a love for God, a love for, and compassion for people. God is to me the very thing that, that saved me, that, you know, gave me a second chance. And now he is everything that I want to show my kids and teach them about and leave that legacy of, of Jesus, knowing Jesus to them. Mm -hmm. With God, anything's possible. Like he took our addictions away, you know, our addictions of drugs, our addictions of money, um, a whole lifestyle that we never thought that we can get out of. You know, he took it all away and, and transformed our lives and, and gave us back everything that we lost. 